All right, here we are once again, Porsche Cup, this time at the Red Bull Ring, one of my favorite tracks in real life, but so far this week it has given me plenty of troubles. We are in the open series, even though we are running basically the fixed setup, because I don't know how to do setups yet. We ended up qualifying in this one, P5 with a 135, 380. Tennyson up there put it on pole with a 133, 868. I've already gotten murdered in this race once. Let's try and uh, try not to die this time. Move forward, see how we get on. There we go. You're waiting on two cars to grid. Get the chat, get the chat back up on screen. Here we go. Hey guys, I'm trying to go to the back, so please don't kill me. <laughs> Mood. Here we go. Green, green, green. Right side. Clear on the right. Car right. Cheap. Stay on the left. Still there. It's fine. Still there. Clear on the right. Car right. Right side. I love, two I on love the left. when people Three go down the inside. Car right. And then two they wide. lock up. And then run me off, and now we run it in seventh. Like, come on! That was the most fucking unnecessary for it I've ever got. This is, that's almost exactly what happened last time, too. I'm just trying to stay out of everybody's way, man. You guys are driving like the last lap. Mood. Get him a map. I just want to keep my eight license, man. Yeah, I'll yeah, get the one point five. I'm not gonna be great to like last five. Okay. We say we made it further into this race than we did last time. That's all I'm saying. Come on, Glenn. It's gonna move on. Yeah, as soon as you lock these things up, it's so hard to unlock them. Nice and respectful, plenty of room given. We'll take that. All right, let's try and catch up to Mo and Justin up here. It looks like they might go side by side. They're here. Nope, he's chilling. All right, we broke a little, a little early for that. I'm not gonna lie. That's all right. Those behind, not in slipstream. Come on, go side by side. Slow each other up a little bit here. The 
lead has gone off. Oh no, he lost it! It's per position! The the leader. Oh my goodness! It's for position. Everyone knows it's a little sweeter when it's for position. Let's see what Justin does here in a turn one. The car in P1 just set the fastest lap. 34.369. New fastest lap for you. Car 4 has taken the lead. You're back in fifth. Left side, clear on the left. That's a free position again. I actually just spawned because I was laughing at the debate, but that was one. Not bad. Not bad at all. Long race to go. We don't need to get overzealous now. We're not going to get overly aggressive. We're running our lines. Uh, I hesitated. I hesitated. Now Mo is back. Good run here. The car in P2 just set the fastest lap. 34.221. Left side. You're in fourth position. Clear on the left. No, 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 no. Man, he uh he chopped across me on that one. He was there, he was ready for me. Holy, we survived. We'll take that off track to survive. The gap is one second. We're breaking really early for that corner. I know I'm trying to play it safe, but we're breaking very early. Sorry, man. Sorry, Mark. That was my fault. Well, Still a long race to go here, chat. I'm definitely faster than this guy through this part. The problem is when you come up to this last, like, double right, it's just, there's nowhere to go. Gotta go, AC. I'll talk to you later, man. Have a good one. Thirty-four point one seven four. The car in P nine just set the fastest lap. Thirty-three point seven five four. You like how race times look? You don't want to pay for it. So to be fair, you get a lot of the a lot of like the good like relevant ones for in the uh, free version. So that's what I do. I don't pay for it yet. I like the idea of some of the stuff in the uh, the paid version, but the free version gives you like the relative and the I pointed up uh, the uh, the advanced thing like the the attack in the middle and stuff. That's all I really wanted, so I'm pretty happy with it right now. I do kind of wish I had like a track map, but at the same time, like it's not the end of the world.
leader is running. 34.1. I do agree that Race Labs, I think, looks the best. But I do, but I, uh, I have a buddy who uses a, something else that I don't know 100% what it is. I don't remember off the top of my head, but it has like everything, but I like the look of Race Labs more. There's an incident behind. Let me see the clean overtake. We gotta, we gotta set it up, you know. What happened to Mo? Did you lose braking there? What happened? Where'd it go? I, yeah, I'm trying out new brake lights. I'm back. Oh God. Up. Justin, what are we doing here? I think I am faster than this guy, but like not by like enough and not in not in like the sections where it's like relevant. Ooh! Oh, OK, go on. Go. I just almost pulled my wheel off my desk. I pulled so hard there that I almost pulled my wheel off my desk. I was clinching so hard. Hold on. Let's just let's use this opportunity to settle down, settle into a rhythm, and like get our act together here. We know we're faster than him through some of this. We just don't have to try and get it all back at once. You gotta let people pass. It's so easy, like, especially because my desk is, like, smooth, and so it doesn't really have, like, much actual, like, texture to, like, grab onto. The car in P1. Just I did not need to take that off track. 33.739. You've just set your fastest lap of the third. But it's, like, if you're really, like, going for it and not paying attention, like, it's super easy to just, like, give it the old, the old muscle off. It does rip the thing off and slide it. That's why I think in the next couple of weeks I'm going to be getting a direct drive wheel on like an actual uh, rig, potentially, or at least ordering it. And then uh, we won't have that problem anymore, which is the important part. I've won it once since I started, but I was terrified of like spending all that money if I wasn't going to enjoy sim racing. But I've been on this for a couple of years now, honestly. I say a couple of years, it's been... It's probably been like a year and a bit, realistically. And so now that I've kind of like proven to myself that like, you know, this is something I enjoy and having like the good stuff would be like something that I would find value in. I think I, I've been saving for a little bit, but I think I might pull the trigger soon because we're moving new and my new office is going to be bigger than this one. And that was always my big thing with this office is just it's just not big enough 
for uh, for any of that stuff. And so, I don't know. I'm, I'm not getting my hopes up too much, but I'm doing some research, trying to find the right one, you know. You know how it is. We'll get there when we get there. All right, we're back on the back of Justin here. Let's relax, we got plenty of time ahead. The leaders are gone, so we're really fighting for P3 and 4 here. And so, we don't have to get by him right now, we got plenty of time. Unless we can get in his head, I guess. He's had a whole moment there. I don't really know what that was. yourself an R5 bundle and you really love it. After that, you got a KS wheel from Moza as well. Yeah, I'm looking at Moza. I think in my head, like, I might be wrong and I might just be crazy, but it feels like in my head, it makes sense. Oh. In my head, I'm looking at, like, the R12, right? Because it feels like getting something like right at that mid-level power range, like, then I'll be able to have it in theory for, like, a for forever. And so, like, sp my idea is, like, spend a little more now for something you're not gonna have to like replace or like want to replace in the future. And so I've been looking at an R12 bundles and man, that stuff's so expensive. But that's kind of what I'm looking at. Also, I'm a bigger guy. So like, I feel like I like the idea of like stronger wheels or wheel bases. Get a move on here, Justin, because Brandon is coming. Definitely go for something mid range. If you had to change your purchase, you would do something with more newton meters. Yeah, see, that's what I was trying to avoid, right? Because I also was looking at like the R5 and like the R9. But like, it feels like if you, like, everything I've read, everyone says like 12 is like the sweet spot. And so it's like, worst case scenario, I could always lower it. To, when I, at, to, like, to get used to it, but then like raise it up as you get better. And so, you use yours with a glass desk? Honestly, yeah, that's honestly fair. Valid. That's pretty valid. I'll give you that one. <laughs> Is like kind of all over right here but then i get to the last corners it's like the last corners is not like my groove the leader just did a 33.577 unless you get a run like that car on your left stay on the right keep to the right clear on the left Left side. Still there, hold your line. Stay on the right. Keep to the right. 
Clear. The next step is getting a rig. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Missing shifts all of a sudden. Car right. Still there, hold your line. Clear on the right. The car in uh, B1. Take it. Just set the fastest lap. 33.412. They say you cut the court. You'll have to slow down and give up the time gain. I backed him up for nothing. You're now in third. Five laps to go. We're in a podium position. Car right. Still there, hold your line. Clear on the right. Well, now we're in trouble because I messed up multiple times on that lap. So many mischiefs. You bought the SRP pedals? How are they? I've, kinda, I've been going back and forth on like what pedals I want to get. And those are definitely like on my list to like learn more about. about five laps of fuel left. Well, it's a good thing there's only a few laps remaining in the gym. Oh, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. the gas pedal on the right it can take it i promise it can take it it can do it left side still there hold your line still there stay on the right Clear, left side. Clear on the left. Backing third, keep hustling. I did it again. I just, my brain refuses to get on the gas, on the, oh, and I'm sitting here missing shifts, to get on the gas out of one. My brain, it just doesn't do it. Brandon. I know they went side by side and then Brandon just like backed out. 
And now he's two and a half seconds back. Stop Coming listening to voice chat and hit your shifts. Obviously, you just stop paying attention. I still can't figure out how to fucking change fuel in this uh in this car. I'm just running a setup. It's an 18 lap race. You gotta be on flight 17 by now. Yeah, cause my setup has 20 laps of fuel. I'm no longer, for the rest of the race, I'm not looking at my, in my rear view. I'm not. I'm not looking at my rear view. White flag. One more left to go. One more. Let's bring it home. I'm not looking at my rear view. This entire lap. You've just set your fastest lap of the session. One lap of fuel left. It's good thing there's only like a half a lap of left in the gym. Porsche today in the open. That might be my first podium in the open series, by the way. Come on. Yeah, I made it. That was. That Come was on, awesome. what a finish. Holy Off the start, let's check out these incidents. Oh, it's us. Oh, right, I totally forgot about this. All right, hold on. Oh, I have a rant, okay? I have a rant, right? I have a rant, right? Why are you gonna go up the inside on lap one with cold brakes, cold tires, at the Red Bull ring and and not break early, right? Like, you know you have the inside line. It's lap one, you're cold everything. 
This is the second race in a row that I've been, I've taken the outside line into turn three, just for the guy on the inside to lock up and go straight, push me off. And then I have to like, then fight my way back through the field. Like, come on guys, come on. I know it's tempting. I've done it before. I'm definitely not, I'm, I'm definitely throwing, you know, stones, glass houses and the whole lot, but like, oh, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating when it happens to you. It's frustrating when you do it to someone else as well, but like, uh, come on, come on. We can do better than that. All right, let's see here. Turn three. Oh, big punt. Oh, there he goes. Oh, this was the guy who was leading. That's the guy who was leading and ended up going off. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Uh oh. Yeah, that rear diffuser damage, that's, that's not going to help out with your rear downforce, my guy. Oh, he's on the racing line. Oh, he's. Oh, oh. Okay. It's tough. Once you get, like, rear bumper damage and diffuser damage, it's way harder than you think. Like, you. you oh, okay. All right, the, he got the worst end of it on that one. He got the he definitely got the worst end on that one. Uh oh, oh he yes, you see that there? He dipped a tire right onto the gravel, and then right round you go. And then this final, yo, know, oh no, that's target fixation right there. This final double right hander is way harder than you think it is. Like actually, way harder than you think it is. Turn one too. It's so easy to do that if you overcook it. It's so easy. That's it. Okay, now before we before we go and check out results, I do want to go back and see what happened between and then we take the lead into here and I, they kind of go side by side. And let's just let's see what happened here. Let's follow it through because all of a sudden he was like two and a half seconds back and I don't know what happened. Did he like turn in on him and then feel bad or? Oh, he, well, he did tag him, but oh, he's okay. He lost it. He did lose it. Okay. Okay. A little net code tag on the rear end there. Lose all the momentum. Dip a tire into the gravel. And then uh, he just fell back. And probably at that point, yeah, I mean, it was, you know, only a few laps and that was what it was. But let's go ahead. Let's check out some of these results. All right, guys. Here we are at the results screen. We almost went double green in this one. We did end up losing 0 .02 safety rating down there, but nonetheless, we finished on the podium, gaining 74 I rating in the process, which just about makes up for all the I rating I lost the first time I tried to do this race. So we're coming out about net equal when it comes to the Porsche Cup around the Red Bull Ring, and so nonetheless. We take it absolutely. The strength of field in this one was 1,554. We were in the second split. And like I said, finishing on the podium from 11th, by the way, starting, oh no, 5th, 11th. I am car number 11, starting from 5th, finishing on the podium with a very solid one at that. I definitely settled into the race a lot better as that one went on. But let's take a look here and see who was our big winner of this one. It's definitely got to be Tennyson up here who gained 85 for the win. And our biggest loser looks to actually be Augustine down here in P16 who lost 91. That's a tough day at the office. Not going to lie, that was basically me at the last race. It was not great. I had like eight minutes worth of damage. It was, we don't got to talk about it. But nonetheless, guys, this has been so much fun it always feels to get a good one like this on the board it's my first i believe my first podium in the open porsche cup series so feels great feels absolutely banging but i hope you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already let leave a comment down below what you thought of my performance what i could have done differently should i have gone for a move a few laps earlier or definitely i know i should have you know focused up there when i did finally make those passes and as always if you enjoyed the video leave a like but that's gonna wrap it up for me here in this one guys i'll see you in the next one